So we're now going to look at the situation where our transit provider is also a peer at the internet exchange point. Now this is a relatively common situation. Several local ISPs will provide access to the local market. And there may be one or two licensed transit providers. And these licensed transits also wish to peer at the exchange point. They may wish to because they want to do so for business purposes, or there may be local regulations which require all internet service providers to peer at the internet exchange point. So the desired outcome is for the transit provider to peer the domestic traffic at the exchange point, but sell transit access for all other destinations. So how do we ensure that transit traffic only goes on the transit link and peering traffic only goes on the peering link? The diagram shows the situation that we're trying to discuss and resolve. The transit provider has the connection to the internet. The router B on the diagram peers at the internet exchange point. The local access provider has a router A also peering at the exchange point and the router C is the upstream connection to the transit provider. Well, outbound traffic is straightforward. The upstream will send the full BGP table to AS100 on the direct peering link. The upstream will also send domestic routes to the IXP peers, including to AS100 across the exchange point. So AS100 will use the IXP for the domestic traffic, and we'll use the upstream link for international traffic. So outbound traffic is straightforward to resolve. But what about inbound traffic? AS100 will send the address block to the IXP peers, and their upstream provider will also see that address block coming through the router B at the exchange. AS100 will send the address block directly to their upstream provider, over the direct transit link. So the best path from the upstream to AS100 is preferred via the exchange point. Remember, we discussed earlier about the preferences that operators make. You would like peering traffic to appear before transit traffic in the local preference table. So the best path from the upstream would be across the exchange point. And this best path would include transit traffic. BGP hasn't a capability of looking at the source address to try and work out which path to take. So the solution to this is to separate the autonomous systems. What the upstream provider will have to do is put the domestic network in one autonomous system and the transit network in another autonomous system. Then they peer the domestic network AS150, as shown in the diagram, at the exchange point. And the transit network, AS160, as shown in the diagram, will be used for customers they sell transit to. And if you look at the diagram, you now see that AS100 has the two connections. They can peer with the domestic AS150 of their upstream transit provider. But they also will get paid transit from AS160 through AS160's transit service. The transit provider needs to separate the network. Domestic AS150 only carries local routes and probably also default to the upstream. The transit part of the network is AS160 and it is for all the non-local routes. Transit customers connect to AS160, the transit AS. They receive the default route, full BGP if they wanted it, and they send just their address blocks. The domestic AS, AS150, peers at the exchange point, receives local rights from other IX peers, sends AS150 originated rights to the IX peers. Inbound traffic to AS100 now follows the paths we expect. AS100 sends the address block to IXP peers, including AS150. AS100 sends the address block to upstream, AS160. Best path from the upstream to AS100 is now over the transit link. AS150, the domestic network of the transit provider, does not announce AS100's peered routes to the upstream transit provider.
Transit providers who peer with their customers at an IX for local routes need to split the ASNs into two. One AS for domestic routes, one AS for transit routes. Two autonomous system numbers are entirely justifiable because the two ASNs have completely different routing policies. The domestic AS peers at the IXP, the transit AS connects transit customers and upstreams. This solution is scalable, and this solution is much easier to implement than other solutions such as complex source address policy routing, which some operators have attempted to do in the past. Do remember from the start of this whole BGP series that an autonomous system is used for representing a distinct routing policy. It doesn't necessarily map onto an organization. The common case is for an AS to map onto an organization, but an autonomous system is there to represent a routing policy. A transit business will have a completely different routing policy from an access business or a hosting business and therefore will quite likely need a different ASN. In fact, quite a lot of the medium to large providers will have a different ASN for the different functions that they operate their business.